Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Longtime community activist Jerry Monroe has died. He was known as a proud graduate of Jack Yates High School and as a vocal advocate for HISD students, also had a podcast. He was very active in this community, and whether you liked him or not, he was in your damn face. And they don't have the guts to stop me. They won't threaten me. I wish you would. Do you know what my pronouns are? I wish a fuck would. <laughs> you got a house full of rats. You got a house full of snakes. And I'm going to help you get rid of all of them. That guy was incredible. That's him with uh, TV personality Roland Martin here on The Factor Uncensored. Only a few months ago, Monroe also spent a lot of time right here in this studio, as you can see there, speaking out about the issues he was so passionate about. He made his final appearance on The Factor back in January. Joining me now to remember the late activist, fellow activist Travis McGee, president of the Texas Support Personnel, Hector Morales, and Reginald OG1. Uh, Gordon, who works with many of the young kids here in the community, and a close friend of Jerry. Glad to have you all here on The Factor. First of all, when you heard the news, you know, I got a call Sunday morning, right. and it was just, it's, it was shocking, right. because I know just how active he was in the community, how, how passionate he was, right. not just about HISD, but Jack Yates, and getting things done for students. Right, right. For me, it was really, it was, it was really a hard blow to even think about at that moment, because, you know, me and Gary did some real deep work when it came to dealing with how to we, and I give him all the credit during 2017 when we attacked Houston, when Houston was at its highest in gang warfare, and me and Jerry got together and put together a team of people, and he put a program together called One Houston, One Hood, and I mean, we stormed every school, and from Words in the Yates to Madison to, to middle schools, uh, we was able to put gang intervention programs in the churches, we worked in the school together, so it was a devastating blow for me to see Gary, uh, uh, what the, what happened to Gary on Sunday? I'm still trying to really wrap my mind around it mm -hmm. because you know we just met a couple of about a week or so ago. Him getting himself prepared to get to deal with the school board stuff. So uh, Gary will be definitely missed. Uh, and the city of Houston owed a big thing to Gary. And now you know on the day we must remember that day was dedicated to Gary. Uh, one Houston, one hood. August 18th, 2017 was. One Houston, one hood, they donated to Gary Monroe for the work that he's been doing in this city here in Houston. Travis, can you sum up what we have lost here? Uh, it was only one Gary Monroe. It will always be one Gary Monroe. Uh, I met Gary like in 2008. I was actually his mentor. Uh, I didn't teach him everything. I taught him how to do the research and figure stuff out within the system. But you can't teach Gary how to be Gary. You can't teach that passion. You can't teach that sacrifice. But he's made a big difference. Uh, a lot of people didn't understand his methods, but his methods was better than doing nothing. You know, uh, people questioned his approach when they didn't have an approach. They approached, they uh, questioned his uh, delivery when they didn't de never delivered anything. So most of the time, Gary got results. Like, we always didn't agree on everything, but at the same time, he was doing something. Uh, people would always call me, out of all people, man, what's wrong with him? Can you tell him to do this? Can you tell him to stop that? I'm not his dad. And then they called Gary. Gary said, you couldn't stop him. You couldn't stop him. Yeah, and do. then uh, he, he actually listened to me for the most part. But, and then when they called Gary, Gary said, Travis ain't my dad. What you calling him for? <laughs> you know, so, but uh, it is a big loss. It's a big void. One thing for sure. Gary gave a damn about kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's fitting, and I'm going to say this publicly, that that funeral will be held at Jack Yates High School. Mm -hmm. He would actually die for that for that school. Now, have those arrangements been made yet, or are you no, suggesting? I'm suggesting that. They have not been made yet, but I guarantee you if uh, they open that, that gymnasium up to the Houston uh, community, mm -hmm. they're going to fill it up. And he was crucial in trying to get that principal back uh, over there. And he got, that was accomplished. Most of the ballots in HISD, we, we fought together. Mm -hmm. So I know how important he was to the, to the fight. Like I say, everybody didn't understand Gary Monroe, but he got things done. And Hector, you have, have worked with him and you've, you've seen him out in the field, in the trenches. Your thoughts about losing him? I'm like you, I'm very devastated. I got the call Sunday afternoon about 2 o'clock. 
and I was devastated. At first, I thought it was a joke, but then when I started other individuals uh, reaching out to me, that's when I realized it was it was true. We don't not realize Mr. Monroe never saw color of an individual, whether you were Hispanic, whether you were Anglo, whatever color you were. Jerry was there to fight at HISD. Mm -hmm. The most that I've seen a gentleman who advocated not only for teachers, not only for individuals, but for students. That was his passion, yeah. that he would advocate for students and parents. And uh, it's just going to be a big, big uh, loss for the students of HISD, the community of HISD, and also for the parents of HISD. I never knew anyone who knew board policy as well as Jerry Monroe. Right. Absolutely. And of course, once we get arrangements, we will bring it to you here on the Factor Uncensored right now. <laughs> Travis wants it at, at Jack Yates. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they hear us tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. And